This question gives you a derivative function, and they give you a point on the initial graph. It tells you that it is a critical point at x equals 3, which means the derivative is equal to 0 and define. I want relative max, min, or neither. Okay, they already give you the derivative. Um, I'm going to go ahead and do a number line. This is just a way to show your work. So the sign of the derivative, I'm going to use 3 as my critical number, will give me information about f. The sign of the derivative is negative positive. So I know that it is a relative min at x equals 3 because f prime changes from negative to positive at x equals 3. This is a two-point question. It is a point for the relative min and a point for your justification. Okay. Next question. At one interval, is the graph both decreasing and concave up? So if I look at my sign chart from above, I already figured out that f is decreasing from 0 to 3. And it's set up here that x is only greater than 0, so be careful. Now I need to figure out when is it concave up. So I need to find the second derivative. So here's my first derivative. You will have to use the product rule here. So the second derivative is the derivative of the first is 1 times the second plus the derivative of the second is e to the x times the first. Now remember, we always need to factor, but I'm going to have to multiply this out. Okay, and I'm going to combine like terms. So I have e to the x, x minus 2 e to the x. Factor out in an e to the x, x minus 2. This is my second derivative. It is two points for getting to the second derivative correctly. The only critical numbers are going to be 2 because this can never be negative. So when I do my number line, the sign of the second derivative is negative here, positive here, so concave down, concave up. So I figured out that it's decreasing from 0 to 3 from part A, and then I know f is concave up from 2 to infinity. So the only place where they're both decreasing and concave up would be from 2 to 3. And your reasoning is because f prime is less than 0 and f double prime is greater than 0. So this would be your last point here. It is a three-point question. Okay, last piece, find the value f of 3. Okay, you should be thinking, okay, in order to find the original value f, I need to integrate f prime. I need to use 3 as one of my values. And the only other point that you have information about is that f of 1 is equal to 7. So when I integrate f prime from 1 to 3, the fundamental theorem says I get f of 3 minus f of 1. This is what I'm looking for. Okay, so step one, let's figure out how to integrate this. 1 to 3, f prime is x minus 3 times e to the x dx. How are we going to integrate this by hand? This is your integration by parts. u is x minus 3, du is dx, dv is e to the x, v is e to the x. So uv minus the integral of v du, and I can integrate this pretty easily, just e to the x, and my bounds go from 1 to 3, so if I plug that in, I'm going to get, um, let's see, e to the 3 times the 0 minus e to the 3 minus e to the first times negative 2 minus e to the first. Okay, and if I simplify this a little bit, I believe this becomes negative e cubed plus 2e, right, plus e. Okay, I have to subtract off all of this, so negative e cubed plus 3e. So this is just this part right here. So this is this. But then in order to find f of 3, notice that f of 1 needs to get added, and I know that f of 1 is 7. So this plus 7 is going to give me my final value that I'm looking for, and this is a 4-point question.